Hello everyone, in this video we'll be saving and loading patches for the Vongen Replay using Mini Goblin. The Replay is a great little synth. It has six voices of polyphony, a built-in arpeggiator, it sounds amazing, and it has one of the most polarizing designs of any synth on the market. Love it or hate it, this thing was made by two people and that is without question very impressive. I for one love the way it looks. I like its clicky little keys, I like its retro looking knobs and sliders. <laughs> But admittedly, the panel is really hard to read. It's white printed on cigarette stained beige. But if you play it frequently, you'll probably just remember what everything does after a few minutes anyways. If you can't remember, you can always just write down what everything does on little stickers. Kind of a cop out, but whatever. The replay can also save and load locally. You don't need MIDI Goblin to save and load patches. You can save up to 23 patches in total. That's Jordan's old number. 23 patches is a good number, but it's not a lot. I personally can't remember where I put my keys seven days a week, so trying to load a patch using unlabeled buttons is also kind of difficult for me. Instead, we'll just use MIDI Goblins to save and load patches. Unfortunately, the replay at this point in time cannot respond to program changes, so you can't use MIDI Goblin to switch between locally saved patches yet, but they may update that in the firmware somewhere down the line. Just a quick reminder before we get started, the MIDI Goblin Kickstarter is currently live. I just want to give a really big thank you to everybody that's already backed the project. Uh, we've already surpassed the goal by quite a bit. I was expecting only a handful of people to maybe back it and we might reach the goal by the end of the month, but we reached the goal in under 12 hours. So it's entirely because of you, Betts, and uh, just want to say thank you. I'm honestly in shock over here. Before you get started, you'll need two 5-pin MIDI cables and two TRS Type A adapters as well. Next, you'll need to add the replay to the MIDI Goblin. You can do this by downloading the required zip file off midigoblin.com. This file will be available when the MIDI Goblin launches in October. Once you have it downloaded, simply unzip it and drag and drop the contents onto the MIDI Goblin micro SD card. Once you have the replay added to the MIDI Goblin, just connect the MIDI Goblin's output to the replay's input and the replay's output to the MIDI Goblin's input. After everything's connected, simply turn on the MIDI Goblin, select the replay from the device select menu, and then turn on the replay. The replay is a bit of a unicorn synth as it dumps its CC parameter values via MIDI on startup. This instantly syncs it with MIDI Goblin. This is awesome. With everything synced up, simply fiddle around with your sliders and save your patches. To load them, just select them from the list and press send. You can also do a whole lot more with MIDI Goblin though, of course. There's the auto chord feature that sounds like this. There's ARP note, which sounds like this. There's a sequencer that sounds like this. And you can also use the MIDI CC LFO to make sounds you normally wouldn't be able to make with the replay. And that's it for this video. Once again, I just want to give a big thank you to everybody that backed us on Kickstarter. Reaching the goal in under 12 hours was completely unexpected and I'm very thankful. If you think other people will find MIDI Goblin useful, please do share it on social media. And don't forget to follow Mini Goblin on social media as well. We'll have lots of updates for you in the future, and I'm off to go feed the cats.